Welcome to the Puckin' Stoner Dad Show. With your host, Dusty. All these franchises, all these people that used to fucking control me. The Ginch. Listen to us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Check out our short form content on Shorts and TikTok. Yo, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back, Puffin Stoner Dad Show. We are about to do our predictions for the Central Division. This is the first year we're doing this. We are going to make this a yearly tradition. So. Yes. What's going on, Ginge, man? How you doing, brother? I am happy to be here. And oh. I am excited for uh, the season to get here. So let's fucking predict away, bitches. <laughs> man, I am so ready for my favorite hockey team to be the outcome of my mood for the, till April. Yes, I love I love just oh man, I love waking up. It's game day. You check yeah. Twitter, you see all the tags, you're getting all stoked. You, and then at the end of the fire first, up. you already know if your next day is gonna be ruined or not. Yeah. Oh 100 percent How's this team gonna play? How's this yeah. team gonna ruin? Yeah, my I hate it last <laughs> year. The first shot would go in and, and yeah. Samsonov would let it in and you'd be like, fuck sakes. Yeah. This is what all we're right. doing right now. Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> of course, we're going to bring the Leafs into the Central Division. Yes, because they're Somehow. very, very high up in my Central Division rankings. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, we're going to start it off at number eight again. Eight. At number eight, who do you got? Black Cox. Yeah. I'm with you right there. I got the same I don't one. Even Black think Cox. I say why. They're just not there yeah. yet. No. The. They 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 are exactly where they need to be right now, man. But there, but there is, draft. Yep. When Bedard 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 Bedard. Is, or that team is going to be making the playoffs all the time. Yep. But he Build around Bedard. Yep. Yeah, definitely no question there, man. Uh, yeah, Blackhawks down. They should be there. I think the next ones are going to be kind of where we start, but maybe differing like last one. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Who you got for number seven then? Utah. Okay. Well, I guess you copied me. No. You're you're looking at my answers. You're the kid sitting beside me at the desk, just looking over, yeah. peeping, piping the answers. I got good fucking eyesight, man. I can see across straight across Quebec. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I got Utah as well. I think they're gonna be they're gonna be a fun team to watch. They're going into are gonna go into a rocking building that they're not gonna be used to. And I and think, I even feed think off of it, but I even yeah. think in in November I'm gonna be thinking that I was an idiot for putting them in seventh, but I still think that's where they're gonna end up. Yeah. Like, I think oh, yeah. they're going to have some good months where we are like, wow, Utah might even make the playoffs, but I still just don't think, like, they've been they back great. so long that just because yeah. they're in Utah now, it doesn't change the fact yeah. that last year they weren't that great. Well, they actually started really good last year, but they went on to, like, a, I think it was a 19-game losing streak. Or yeah, and that's what I'm like that. I mean, that's what I just sewered their opportunity, man. Like, yeah. If they, they can just not good. do that, that'd be great. Like the office, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number six. I hope this isn't the same as yours. Wild. <laughs> oh, go off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got the wild at number six as well. I, it was another team, man. I'm looking. I was wa- looking at the signings. It was a team that didn't really do much. They are in such cap hell right now, man. That like they can't do anything. 
They've got so they need to be down there. That. Yeah, Kaprizov. That the team that he's going to dictate how the team does this year. Yeah, basically. If he like, scores he forty, be... the team scores forty. Literally, he's yeah. going to be the only mm-hmm. one doing puck off. Yep. We'll see. Uh, they're they're going to build for the future. Oh, that's yeah. why I was like, well, it, like if they were in such cap hell, I probably would have had my number five. Probably would have been there but yeah because of the cap hill and them not being able to do anything which fucking does sound somewhat familiar <laughs> toss it ever yeah so yeah number six we got the wild you both we both had the wild so number five blues yo we're gonna have probably all the same here actually I don't know I bet you have a different number one than you, actually. We're going to have a different top three. I guarantee it. I hope, because it's not looking Ooh, good yeah. from here. Uh, if there were another team, you know, not really doing much, but, like, a team that needs to build right now, man. Uh, Yeah, and I just feel like Jordan Bennington is one drama fest away from like just ruining that that team. Yeah, exactly. Like who like knows when your goalie's supposed there. to be your backbone and he's a psychotic yeah. fucking nightmare. Uh, it's hard yeah. to fucking even keep your head in the game. Yeah, and is Philip Broberg and Matthew Hallway really going to make that much of a difference to this team? No. I, I don't think those are guys, guys that are going to push you over the edge. of No, you know, hell no. If, if you're taking someone who's going to push you over the edge from Edmonton, you chose the wrong guys. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, there were some other yeah. guys on that team you could have picked. Uh, I don't think as an RFA, though. Uh, up here, Oliver Joseph was there. Matthew Joseph signed. But yeah, they Casper happening. We have it. Like looking at it, like they didn't, they didn't really do anything. So yeah, like I don't know. I think they're gonna get there because they're a little bit better than some of the other teams. But yeah. All right, so number four, who do you got? Avalanche. This is where we're different now. Okay, Avalanche. Wow. And I love them. You're not. I know you're not high on them, eh? No, no. I I'm a lot higher on them than you. We kind of have that Vegas situation right now. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I. So, number four, you said you had them. You know who I got? I got the Jets. Okay, so uh, we're close still then because that was my number three. Yeah. But Avalanche, like, they've got they've got some fucking great players, don't get me wrong, but when they were fucking in the playoffs and they basically said, oh, we lost our top point score, this is over for us. And then they fucking lost. I just fucking that told me a lot about them. I still love the team, don't get me wrong, but like I just feel like this club as it is, it needs to fucking grow a set. They're Shake not it. they're not that team that, that can win with a shitty goalie and they don't have a goalie that's gonna carry them like they did with Patrick Waugh back in the day either. So like I mm-hmm. just I don't I think you could see them in the playoffs somehow, but they're not they're not that powerhouse that they were. They've got a couple yeah. powerhouse pieces, but I think they got to figure out a way to use them differently. Okay. Yeah. Uh, like, man, I could totally, like, I think it's going to be, like, the main issue with them is goaltending, obviously. Right? Yeah. Like, that does need to be, uh, Sorry, it needs to be addressed, obviously. 
And I think that's why they were so they were trying to get in on uh uh what's his name? Askarov. Yeah. Just didn't work out. That would have helped. Yeah. Uh so who would they pick up? Pierre Edward Pierre Edward Bellum are starting to try out. Matthew Phillips uh penned a one year two way contract with um uh I don't know who that is. Uh, Eric Branstrom, Branstrom, Cal Rosen, Parker Kelly, Calvin DeHaan, Jonathan Drew, and re up with them. I think, I think, as he kind of went hot near the end, right? Like I think, yeah. yeah, I think if he can continue that, man, I think you could have someone that could uh, could be like most uh, like comeback of the year or whatever candidate yeah. could be Jonathan Drew in. Yeah, you're not wrong. He, uh, he's looking way better there than he was in Montreal. Yeah. Yeah. I hey man, a lot a lot of potential in there. We could see it is definitely you, any team, though, man. You have Kale McCarr and you have Nathan McKinnon, and like just those two alone, man. Can yeah, they stay healthy throughout the year? Can they stay yeah. healthy throughout the year, though? Yeah, right? that's because the that you need answered. Yeah, because Colorado, Colorado does need some depth, right? Because they are becoming known as like a very like one line team. Yeah, a little top heavy. Yeah. So kind of like, you know, I remember like the uh, the Leafs were like that kind of at one point, and like it was like, oh, okay, just shut basically like how do you know shut Matthews and Marner down once uh, Tavares went down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So number three, who you got? Jets. You got the Jets. I got Dallas. Oh, okay. Yep. <clears throat> Dallas coming in at number three, man. I think uh, they're going to be their solid team, right? I think it's going to it's a toss up when you usually get into the toss top three, right? Like usually it's like they're probably all going to be within like say ten points of each other. Yeah. Usually, so like that's a bit. It's a toss up. But yeah, I think Dallas at three. Uh, man, they're always a solid team. I could see them may- maybe starting slow. Apparently, uh, Jason Robertson uh, injured, He's got foot surgery or something. Oh, that's not gonna help. Yeah, so that could start like to slow down. Maybe not, so they don't win the division. But you said you had the Jets. We were talking about them. Uh. Number two. Preds. Preds. Okay. I have Colorado. Like I said, right? When the argument, Nathan McKinnon, Kale McCarr, if they can get timely saves, I think it can be an absolute force. Colorado. Yeah, it's going to be hit or miss. Yeah. So you said the Preds. I have the Preds at number one. And I've got Dallas. Dallas? Okay. I look at Nashville, man. And I dare I say I could actually see a Nashville and maybe Devils. See in the cup finals. Nashville Devils, that would be sick, man. Dude, Steven Stamkos signed there. Jason Marsh's show. That solves their scoring just right there, right? Brady Shea signed with them, too. You had Ryan O'Reilly that signed there last year. You got your goaltending locked up. You got uh, Forsberg still there. You got Roman Yossi. Absolute stud, man. I 
I think like you look at this team and I go, how is this not one of the absolute favorites to win the cup? Oh man, they're due to. Oh man, I think I think I might might become a Smashville fan this year, man. I definitely think I might watch some Nashville games. I think they're going to be. A, I think they might be worth the watch if they live up to the hype. Definitely think that they could uh, be up to potential. For sure, man. Yeah. So you said you had Dallas. So yeah, you you think Dallas with all the stuff they have right now, right? You think they have what it takes to push on through and win the division? Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah. Like I said, it's a, it's a toss up, right? So anything can happen. What what team can stay the healthiest, right? Like yeah, kind of what it comes down to. When it or who comes can to it, like players players sticking together and gelling over time, like the stars have a roster that isn't new to seeing each other. Like that's why I've got them over the predators. I think the predators over time are going to be better, but it's going to take some time to settle into that saddle. Oh, a hundred percent. It's definitely going to take some time, but once that, once those guys start gelling, I think it's, it's going to be some nasty uh, tic-tac-toe. I can't wait. I am so excited to be watching some of them in Nashville. So that a bit does it that does it for the central. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow for the Metropolitan Division, where we'll give you our list for that one. Check it out tomorrow. Round noon. We'll release it at 12 o'clock. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. Like. Subscribe. Check out our social medias. We are now on Spotify and Apple Podcast.